Act, an exclusive look at how Border Patrol agents work around the clock to rescue migrants from extreme heat in the Arizona desert. Despite record-breaking temperatures in July, the number of border crossers actually rose, and preliminary data suggests the Tucson sector had one of the highest, if not the highest, number of encounters. Team Trial's Adriana Loya traveled to the border and shows us what it's like on the ground. As temperatures climb above 100 degrees in the Arizona desert, U.S. Border Patrol taking 12 news in an exclusive ride along. This is a really hot area. As we reach South, the capital of the Tohono O'odham Nation Reservation. Looks like he's probably just wanting to give up. So. Luis Rigoberto Abac Pelico turning himself into agents. No He's 21 years old from Guatemala and had been walking the desert for five days when he got separated from a group and wandered for three days alone. Then his feet gave out. His call to 911, saving his life, says Jeremy Lai, one of the 47 Borstar agents on the Border Patrol Search, Trauma and Rescue Unit in the Tucson sector that locate injured or deceased migrants along the U.S.-Mexico border. It's, it's sad to say, but usually they, they wait until it's, it's irreversible. And then, but... Uh, he got to the point, he knew, he, he knew he was, he needed help. And in July, as temperatures soared, the demand for assistance shot up, along with the number of people agents encountered attempting to illegally cross the border. What we're experiencing right now is an unprecedented level of uh, unlawful entries in Tucson sector. Justin De La Torre is the deputy chief patrol agent for the Tucson sector. Over the last couple of days, we've seen just over 1,600 encounters per day. Why the rise? These are decisions made by the, the criminal organizations who, who uh, participate in the smuggling activity. They decide where they're going to smuggle migrants. New numbers released by Customs and Border Protection shows agents arrested more than 130,000 people between ports of entry in July, a 33% increase from June. Data shows the Tucson sector saw the most activity in July across the southern border, with about 40,000 apprehensions, the highest number since April 2008. From the start of the month to the 20th, Border Patrol agents here in the Tucson sector have already rescued more than 1,100 people. Unfortunately, they have also come across human remains. How often are you guys in these? Um, every day right now we're running two shifts out here. The high demand, keeping agents like Eric Rivas working around the clock. In my time, compared this year to last year, we found more deceased people this year so far. And even while we were with them, the bodies over there. we came across a dead body. The remains of a migrant reported missing five days earlier. We stayed back. But even from this distance, we could smell the strong odor of a decomposing body and see a backpack and camouflage clothing on the skeleton, all that was left of that person. According to Humane Borders, a group that helps migrants in the desert and tracks their deaths in Arizona, 109 people have perished this year, 42 of those in July. <laughs> As Luis Rigoberto wandered lost in the desert, he too stumbled upon another body. Still, knowing the deadly consequences of the journey, he says he will try again, in hopes of one day reuniting with his brother here in the United States. Adriana Loya, 12 News.